Well, hey guys, it's been a while since my last video. I do apologize for that. I've been super short-handed at work and dog-tired when I get home. But now I'm back, and we're going to kick things off with a joint build. So let's get started with the lock joint. Now I know what you're going to say. Drew, you've used this joint many times on your YouTube videos. Why are you doing a joint build on it now? Well, because I've never done a joint build video on it. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and break it down for the people that are very interested in obtaining this joint on their uh, bill, or project builds for, say, their house or their shop. I've used it on many different applications when it comes to drawer construction as well as cabinet construction. And I plan on using a modified version on it uh, on a project build that's going to come up in the near future. So what I'm going to start with is a couple of pieces of 3 quarter inch plywood cut to 3 inches wide. These will be our test pieces, but you can imagine these being a drawer front, a drawer side, a cabinet side, and a cabinet top or even a cabinet side and a cabinet front face frame. Now we're going to accomplish my joint technique using a dado stack using the two outer blades. Now you can accomplish that with a single blade just taking multiple passes. For now I'm going to go ahead and change. Okay, now the next thing we want to accomplish is the blade height. We're going to use this brass gauge bar and set it right beside the blade. Now the rule of thumb is to only go a third of the thickness and since we are using three quarter inch plywood we're going to go a quarter inch tall. Okay now the trick to the measurement of this is that you have to measure to the outside part of the blade not the inside part. So the easiest trick is to take a piece of the scrap or the actual piece that you're going to use and line it up with the outside part of the teeth. Now this can be a little bit proud if you want it to because it can always be sanded down or flush trim routed down. Now that we've made the groove, we're going to make the tongue to match. This is a lot easier doing it this way than in reverse. So we're going to take the piece that we made the groove in and use it as our stop block. Now if you have a sacrificial fence, you don't need this. But I'm not going to go through all that trouble just to show you this demonstration. So we're going to clamp this piece against the fence and use it as our gauge. Now with just a little patience and a few passes on the dado stack, you'll be able to get a joint that looks just like that. Nice and flush on the front, bottomed out on both mounting surfaces. Like I said, this joint can be used on a multitude of things. It is a very versatile joint. It increases glue strength tremendously. So I advise you to get used to this joint. It is very quick and easy to do, makes drawer building super simple and super strong, and can make cabinet building a little bit more sturdy and interesting to make. If you guys want any input on how to make it with cabinetry, I suggest you go check out my Ultimate Clamp Cabinet or even the cabinet build series that I did on my back wall. I also incorporated it into, into my mudroom locker system that I have right over here on that wall. So guys, thanks for joining me on this build. If you have any comments, tips, or suggestions, be sure and drop them down below and I will be happy to answer them. Also, don't forget, check out my website as well as my second channel, Rockin' Moments. And I will be catching you on the next project build. So guys, take care, be safe in your shops. I'll talk to you next time. Boom!